just look at the pictures I had of him. After some time had passed, I constantly saw him. Whenever I saw him, I told my mom, Daddy's home, Mommy. Daddy's back from his long trip. Well, she thought those were recurring dreams and maybe a sign that I wasn't handling his death well. Whenever I told her, she would just take me and my sister out to get some ice cream. I soon stopped telling her, because after we moved across the city where I lived, which is Reno, Nevada, I still saw him sometimes in my sixth grade class. One time, when my best friend and I were working during math class, I saw my dad sitting beside me. Then I whispered to my friend that my dad was right next to me and that he constantly followed me around. But he was different from how I remembered. Because there was always a bullet hole on the left side of his forehead near his hairline. In the seventh grade, he still followed me around and always frowned every time he saw my stepdad either hitting me or screaming at me. My stepdad was kind of tough, so he did that to me sometimes. Whenever my stepdad would enter the room, he got mad at him. I heard my dad gently one time in a dream tell me that he had killed himself because of my mom. He said that my mom cheated on him and always yelled at him saying he wasn't good at being a father. Over the summer between 9th and 10th grade, I was in summer school taking the second semester of Algebra 1. I was sitting at the front by the door when all of a sudden something outside caught my attention. My dad was staring in through the window of the door. His eyes were empty. I was horrified being watched by him. He came into the room and sat at the empty desk next to me, and I knew that he was not the same. 